This is my 1979 Special Edition Trans Am. I have owned this since 2006 and it's the favourite thing I've ever bought. My wife and I have driven this car all around the country. It has featured in photo shoots with film stars and been used as a Burt Reynolds tribute. Then last summer, I crashed it into a Prius. Okay, so that might be a bit dramatic. The damage wasn't that bad, but it was going to need a new nose. Fortunately, I know these guys. Specifically, I know this guy. Craig owns Westgate Auto Body, and he owns a Trans Am that's very powerful. And when I say very powerful, I mean this. Craig's Outlaw Trans Am is something that deserves a video in its own right, and I'll do one if I get sufficient love for this one, but for the time being, back to my story. Craig was the first to suggest that I change the nose on my 79 to a 78. At first I was resistant, but then, when I got talking to a buddy one slightly boozy Sunday afternoon in the pub, he had what could be described as some strong opinions. Because it's, uh, well, because it's, it's, no, because it's, it's a numbers matching 79, and if it's a numbers match 79, I want to keep it original. Right? But what looks better? Yeah, you make a good point. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole point. <laughs> you know, like, you take the Mona Lisa, <laughs> put a big schnoz on her, it's just not going to be the same. Okay, so we're now, at this point, we're talking about the Mona Lisa in relation to a car. <laughs> well, it's a work of art. I mean, right? That is a classic piece. And what do people think of when they see it? They don't think of that big schnozzola thing that you got on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, admittedly, the, the 78 does look better. There's no, there's no question that the 78 looks better. Okay, so point of order here. I guess there will be some people who will say the 79 looks better than the 78, but I think the majority would agree with me. So after that significant change of heart, the car went up to West Yellowstone to spend its winter with Craig. Well, here's a little update for you. This was um, uh, kind of the final sanding of this primer. Pretty much got all the bodywork straightened out. Got this fender gap looking really sweet. The rocker panel looking good. Yeah, I'll try to paint it tomorrow, maybe. Uh, anyways, then I got a bunch of stuff painted today. Turned out pretty good. Got these flares. Got the flares all painted, they look good. Yeah. Nice. And then I got this bottom, the bottom air deflector done today too. It turned out really nice. And voila, look at that nose. Yeah. Turned out pretty good. Fun. Anyways, everything's going good. One of the advantages of knowing that Craig was going to have to have the car for some time was that I was able to ask him to take a look at some other issues. The ride quality had been poor for some time. Not surprising, to say the car required new frame bushings would be a massive understatement. And as for the door and T-top seals... Alright, well here's one little project I got going on now. I'm just getting started on uh, changing the T-top gaskets. So just took some stuff apart so far and you know, this stuff is pretty hard, pretty gnarly. Anyways, so I'm gonna just start pulling all this out and uh, swap it out for some new stuff. Clean it all up and put some nice soft new gaskets in there. And then we'll do this door too, we'll go around that with that one. Yeah, that's kind of a mess. Yeah, I'm going to go to this. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 
Hello! <laughs> there seems to be Hi. some cracks in plastic. <laughs> How are you? I put some lotion on my hands, so it's not anything weird, it's just some lotion. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bit of dry skin, you know. Yeah, well, the stuff you're working Body shops, so yeah. Yeah. get pretty dried out. Hi, yeah. I'm Dion. How Hi. are you? What was your name? Dion. Dion, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're just I'm just everything. recording. The it's a big <laughs> reveal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We well, yeah. Your car? Sure. I, I really do, yeah. Yeah, funnily enough. <laughs> well, it's going. I like your t-shirt. Oh my god. Okay, ready? Ready? All right, here we go. Oh my god. Holy smokes. Oh my god, oh my god. god. that looks amazing. Holy. Look at the front. I am obsessed with it. That just... Oh, oh she's so pretty. Oh my god. Craig, you are... That is incredible. An artist. Craig, <laughs> Thank you. Artist. Trans Am artist? Yes. Yeah. So oh, I'm going to have some, spend some time on I go, how have you got that? How have you matched that so well? <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> Make it look like it never been repaired, but still making it look brand new, you know? Holy cow. Honestly, it's almost like, I'm like, oh. <laughs> It's like a different, I mean, I mean, I, I haven't seen it. I mean, it's not looked like this, obviously. Oh my God. Seen a bunch of the engine bay out, and, and then no, you're really gonna love the inside. Oh, fucking hell. Mustn't swear, mustn't swear. <laughs> <laughs> now look at the inside. Oh, did you see the sound it noise? Just the sound it made. <laughs> Just the sound it made when you opened the door. I know. Yeah, all new gaskets. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. All new T-top gaskets. Everything fits together really well. Oh, my God. And I'm sure you remember shutting these doors before, but, you know, now it's, uh, now it's just a solid thud. It closes. Yeah, I mean... Oh, the amount of things I've tried to do and to, <laughs> but it's just, yeah. Same with this side, this side is still really well too. Remember, I don't. Should have, I got some of the pictures and stuff I can share with you, but. It had been hit up here before, so yeah. this whole this whole front corner was full of body. Yes, yeah, so I didn't. I, I knew that. So I knew it had damage from California from some time. Oh, look at those spikes! I, I ground the paint off all the way back to here, and it still had Bondo all the way back to here. So some, you know, it really got smacked once before. Yeah. But you know, by having it all apart, I was able to, you know, pull all the metal and work all the metal back forward again get everything pulled. Remember there was a big buckle right here in the fender? Yeah. This whole this thing got... Well, from, yes. Yeah, so, but, so the buckle in the fender, was that, I mean, that, that was from the accident I had in the summer, or was it from previously? No, it was from this summer. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Because when it gets hit here, the energy has to go somewhere, so it's mm. going to shove back, which caused that to bow out, which put a buckle here. Yeah. And then it shoved everything back. It shoved the... Yes, that's right, because the door, the door was catching. The door was, the, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. the and, rocker panel. Yeah. Yeah. And so I was able to take everything, you know, all back down to metal again and stretch everything back out and hand finish, you know, hand shape all of it with just using a hammer and a dolly and then a file and just kept on trying to get as, mo as much mud out of it as I could, you know. And now it's just, a, it's hardly anything. Yeah, and I, I, yes, I mean, that was a stupid question I asked about the buckle, but I just wondered if you'd established that there was a, there was a crease in there from previously. But yeah, that obviously was when I, you know. Yeah. when I decided to, to uh, and then run it back into the back of a tourist. Uh. On the now clearly you wouldn't drive a car like this in the middle of winter in Montana, especially if you're the kind of person who drives into the back of other people. This year, it snowed a lot and it kept snowing. So, eventually, in May. Oh, yeah. I'm going to peel out. <laughs> 
All right, bud. But what looks better? 